Hi, now we are going to see how to create the schema first and then how to import the CSV file, CSV table into your MySQL workbench. In order to do that, first what we need to do, we need to go to the schemas and create the new schema. Schema is a logical um, collection of the database elements which helps you to organize your database better. So we are going to write the schema name company. All right, great. We're going to apply. Okay, create schema company. It's going to be our query that's going to be run. Apply. Okay, finish. Now we have a new schema with no tables within it. For getting the CSV file, a new uh, data set that I have uploaded, it's, um, I, will, I will link the link, I will comment the link on the comments or on the description part. So you can download that. So you're gonna see the download here. What you're gonna do next? is to unzip this download. You need to click on that and do the table data import wizard. Once you have clicked that, you're gonna have the new window file, like Nindo, in which you're writing the file path where your file is This is where your file is located. You, you can just get the path or browse and go to the file. You just can browse and go to the uh, to the location where your file is located, or you can just copy and paste the path. Next, you're using or you're choosing the existing table. We don't have any table in our dataset, in our schema. I'm sorry or uh, you are creating a new table. So let's create a new table and call it the employees, employee table. And we are gonna do drop table if it exists. It doesn't exist, so. Next, we're gonna have the rows and we need to choose which of the codifications we are gonna use. Based on this codification, we have different columns and we are getting all columns described here Actually, the columns are representing our data set. So we are going forward and we are clicking on the prepare and import data sets. We'll click on the next. It's preparing and importing the file. And next, it says how many, how much time it took to import the data set and what it did. That means that we, we have 10 records imported and we're clicking on the finish. Once we have clicked on the finish, we have here, we should have here the new table. We need to refresh it first. Indeed, if you refresh, you're going to have employees. We have the columns. If you go to the query and say select everything. Once you're selecting everything from the company.employee, company schema name, the employee is going to be the name of the table. You have all the information that you need about that. Here we have learned how to import the data set. If you are interested also to understand how the select everything works, follow my channel and you're gonna see in the future the different videos about how to use the selections, how to use the queries, how to use the aggregation queries, how to join the tables, and more uh, information about queries on SQL. Have a nice one. See you next time.